games worth of XP away. So, off we go. Let's get this over and done with. I don't mind double CV games. I honestly don't mind double CV games. I don't like, however, they max, they mix the fours, sorry, the, the fives and the sixes. That's my grief. You can stray if you can. And it's, the reason they did that probably is because they didn't want to screw with the matchmaker, and it's very weak reasoning. But if they wanted to, they could prevent four, uh, fives and sixes from seeing each other. And they should do, because they're two different playstyles. You're massively handicapped if the tier six guy can strafe and your tier five guy can't. So if you're, so then it turns into a case of if the tier six carrier is good and the enemy tier six carrier is bad, it doesn't matter how good the tier five carrier is on the enemy team because he can't use his alt attacks. He can't compete with the strafe. Then he has to take a disadvantageous left click engagement, maybe. Crap. Anyway. Thanks for joining our clan on Russia server. I hope you can get some bonuses on your long way to upgrade CVs until 10. Uh, and I am not man, welcome. Oh, uh, so you're a girl. Well, thanks. I uh, cool. I'm, I'm, I hope you enjoy watching or playing or whatever. Or, or you know, uh, do you play CV yourself? I honestly don't know how much I'm going to play in here, but I do know that the noob reward is... Uh, no, you're bad at carrier. <laughs> okay. I know that the noob reward is seven days of premium. When you complete the noob campaign, we get seven days of premium, and then we can start using rewards working our way up to the Shinomi. So we've got plenty of campaign stuff. In that respect, Wargaming's got a really cool system in place. Do some carriers, do the basic stuff, get signals and credits and all that type of stuff for playing campaigns and certain missions, then move on to this, you know, the, the, the slightly more advanced one, work your way up to the Shinomi, that's fine as a carrier, I did that on any as well, and then we can also get, when we'll do like, after that we need we need at least a tier 8 if we're going to go and try and get the Halsey or Yamamoto captains, but they're going to come much later. So the 7 days of free premium, we can choose when we accept the reward. Because you, you get the reward when you do the mission. So we can choose when we want to do it. So maybe not this week, but maybe next time I've got like three, four days in a row that are free. Then heck yeah, we take those seven days of premium. We just play in the Russian server and try leveling up. How much XP is... It's not enough free experience to research the module tier six. Yeah, so um, he's, he's right. So I need to play... This is the last game I play in the Zooey Hall. And then after that, I am in the usual. And then I got enough free experience saved up that I can, um, that I can uh, unlock almost all the modules. Maybe with the dive bombers uh, missing, but the, the the hull will still be stocked. That's okay because it's not too big of a deal. And the captain will also be noob, so we need to we need to solve that. And we also need to get dogfighting expert because it's possible that we get double CV games with sixes and sevens, and then we have to play against tier sevens or tier nines if it's the Saipan. So we really do need to get that eleventh captain point, but we also need to retrain them. So the first game on the usual is going to really suck because we won't have the free experience to retrain the captain. Yeah, the dive bombs are luckily not the point; they're just fire starters. But you know, if the matchmaking's cruel and gives you tier sevens, they will melt apart. That's why it's very important. Try and get a better engagement. So again, another double CV game. Two um, BBs, okay. Kuma, maybe. These are, they're, they're like, the t when the tiering gets slow, it's actually very hard to hit these things because they're small and... Go after the fire plane. Go after the fire plane. No, ignore the torpedo bomber. Go after the fire plane. I'm going to go further away so he hits that guy first. Oh, hold that thought. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sack that. That's too, too many things. Okay, so he's tagged the fire. Now I'll go back and tag. There's just too many catapult fires for that to be viable. So we should be able to gank his fire plane off, which suits us just fine in the meantime. Um, maybe we can cross drop one of these destroyers? Or we can go for the revolution instead. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, hold that thought, hold that thought.
Maybe. I mean, this is a maybe. I mean, always... Auto drops are always tricky. Oh, we clipped the islands. Oh, he's gonna... This one would be perfect. That one might still work, though. Okay. It gives a huge advantage to our guys who want to fire back. Because his health pool can't regenerate. Are you fucking kidding me? Are we being sniped? Alright, time to move forward and go around the island then. Alright. He's inside my 5 kilometer AA. Strafe. Strafe. <laughs> Can't. So he's not clicking on my fire planes, which is his mistake. Check that out. Good dodge, man. Right, now we'll get your fire planes. I need to go around because you know, there's a bunch of stuff that could mess with me. And see, that is the Bogue's last fire wave because he doesn't have the same plane reserves. So we'll go down and grab that. Maybe have the Emil Bertin. Look, he's inside my AA range as well. So I've got, what, about 40 or 50 AA at 5 kilometers. It's not a s insignificant amount. It'll help kill this thing off. So, Oh, and also i got Air Supremacy, so I've got 5 as well. So we'll, we'll gank that pretty quickly as well. Okay, let's refresh this fire plane. Get fresh ammo, fill up back up to 5, and then we can go down and see who we can go with. So we can maybe go for the Phoenix, or we can go after the ships over here. Do you plan on streaming uh, upcoming games? And uh, what do you mean by streaming and upcoming games? Um, do you mean other games than Warships? Like, I play Total War Arena, if that's what you mean. That's a pretty good game in terms of RTS and carrier gameplay. He's going to go into this little island chain. I don't think I can hit him. I'll try. No, that's, that's not gonna work. This might clip him. <laughs> I was. Alright, this. Maybe not that one, but that one? Okay, that's good. It hurts him to the point where, he, you know, if he goes in a gunfight with other people, he'll die. DD torp belt too strong, that's true. Man, if earning money in CVs was always as easy as 100k for two plane kills and 100k for one torp hit. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, that's that's why the campaigns are a good thing though because as a new player you you suffer from these kind of they are good at giving you the rewards you need to at least progress one line even with the carrier economy and being bad when you really suffer is around the tier eight tier nine marker uh, i had issues on america um i didn't have issues getting the i did i had issues getting the hakuryu i had issues leveling up the up to the haku and i sold the taiho then i rebought it later because i was i was strapped for credits because it was purely CV gameplay on a CV line. Uh, even with premium, you didn't make enough money to, to afford the many millions it takes to cost to buy Taiho and Hakuryu. And then when I went to the Midway, I would maybe up to the Essex slowly, but the credit required for the Midway was like high. So I think I did, I converted some doubloons I had I was given, and then um, I just played the game with credit signals and that type of stuff. Still losing badly though. I don't know. I'm trying to insert the TBs um, and slow down because I don't think I want to go anywhere else. Uh, the Nurmansk? We could do that. The Revolution? Untouched. Probably wouldn't help very much. Murmansk could have defensive fire, couldn't it? Okay, we'll give it a go. Problem is this. Oh, you know, oh, you know another problem. I just realized. Defensive fires. How do you check if this guy has used defensive fire? Because you don't see a notification. You would use the Alt key. You would hold down Alt, and then you would see that your planes were panicked, and you would back off. Now. 
There's no way of me knowing that someone's defense fart. I just instinctively held down the alt key to see whether or not a defensive fart, and I can't tell. That's another problem with the tier 4 or 5 gameplay. You, you, you can't learn when someone's used a counter on you. Oh god, that sucks. But the pod's almost die dead, so... Can't you just let you click them? What? Maybe I could click them, yeah, but if I just want to alt... Yeah, okay. He's reversing. I don't know why my dive bomber went all the way over there. Maybe I can kill him off. Yeah, he's going so slow, probably. Fires, guys. Alright. Okay, so. Still a tough game. But we are clumped together, so we'll try and get some fire start in the revolution then, at the very least. Maybe force a damage con or something. We'll try and go for these bombers now as well. This is why bomber control is pretty good. Um, that, sorry, working on the fire control early. Because if you guys sacrifice those fires, all he can do now is ram his, his bombers in. And then we can just pick off the bombers one at a time because he's got no other option. He's got no way to protect. We need to work on the revolution, I reckon. Do not have a battleship. Okay. That was a close TK. Oh, I let the dive bomber land by mistake. The Revolution has a 20 second damage control party? Oh dear lord. The alpha. Has limited charges. Okay. Hmm. We still need to attack it though. We still need to help. Maybe you can. Well, if we go for the Kuma, then everyone else can shoot him, but no, I think we need to hurt him at least once now. Can't We can't just pretend he's not there. If I told that to go after that, he would go here, he would like, follow it. If I go there and there, then it'll hit him. He's turning away. Assuming he keeps the turn going, I should be able to hit him this way. Unless he turns back in on myself. Alright, hold that back. Hopefully I get two, maybe three torps. This one and this one. You get a flooding, it's another damage control part usage. The pod, you'd think someone could kill him. Right, okay, good bulk work. Damage con, he's damage con. Right, let's send another plane map. Maybe we get some fires again. It's only three dive bombers, though. I think we've lost this. I don't, like, I don't think we can do anything. We'll try and get as much XP as we can, though, so we don't have to... Okay, that's lucky. It's a fire. Does he damage con that? You might just let it burn. Maybe he's out of them. How many damage cons he gets in total? Like, how many charges? Yeah, I don't want the, I don't want that to land just yet. I want to get the TVs up. It's five charges, yeah? Okay. Well, we're all getting picked off now anyway. The game is practically over. Okay, here we go again. So I could drop the Kuma, I could kill him. The easel, we could drop him as well. I mean, they are low. That would be three ships, and then these guys are far away. But I'd need some other surface ships to survive a little bit longer. And I need to go past them and then reverse drop in on top of them. 
I say reverse drop, I just mean like that. He could turn this way and you'd actually avoid quite a few. No, maybe not. He's going too slow. Hopefully that's three now. And that's a much better alpha, I reckon. Two per wave. One, two, and one, two. Alright, and the flooding. But he's got a damage con, hasn't he? But it gives these guys a chance. Uh, not really. Yubari's torp angle is so tight that he could keep turning and he could torp him and then maybe he would kill him, but it's too late for me. Because he's damage conned again. I needed him to die for me to then maybe kill the Kuma on the next wave I've got. Unfortunate, dude. And it's healing as well. <sighs> Shit. He's turning back in, so I'll go this way. And then that one, I'll go tighter, like that. I think I've beached. Well, I was trying to leave it to the absolute last moment. He doesn't see me anymore. That's a start for a little while. The detection's pretty good. Kuma's dead. I guess we try and kill the Phoenix next. A Phoenix might have a capital fire. Does the Phoenix have a capital fire? Can't almost remember. No, it doesn't. All right, cool. Can you imagine how much more entertaining this would be if I could manual attack here? Oh, and the tail? No? <sighs> okay, we live just a little bit longer! Oh, he's... he smoked. <laughs> he can't see me! He needs to leave the smoke if he needs to see me. There's no spotting. Oh, shit. Oh, well, that's that's it. I can't I can't alt drop him anymore. That's game. Oh, I actually survived a torp as well in the nose. Um, a little bit too much. I was like, if I ran into the Phoenix, I would have been torped by the Phoenix or something like that, or been gunfired closer. So I had, to, I had to go somewhere, basically. But anyway, that gave us enough experience on a loss to um, upgrade to the usual. Finally, we can actually use some alt attacks, and we can drop in the smoke. 